Hi, my name is Cade. I got tested as a kid a lot for a lot of different reasons, but the one that really stuck with me was the Myers Briggs test. Basically, it you know, puts you in a box. My box happens to be an INTJ. That I in the beginning is the really critical piece here. It stands for introverted. As a kid, I read a lot of books, and, and frequently enough, a lot of baseball almanacs. So I know a little bit of like, you know, I'm trending towards that autistic thing. It's okay. But, you know, I've had a lot of fun in, in, in learning to like people. And that's been something that was a real challenge for me, especially when I got here to Arizona State and started to see a lot of different people and, and interact with a lot of different people. And so it kind of became stressing at, at a point, though, because I was so, like, in my own head about, you know, what people thought about me. And I found social media to be this great opportunity for me to reach out a hand and effectively play a video game that I could then bring offline. It was an amazing experience to be able to reach out my hand, meet all of these people, most of whom are in this room tonight, so thank you, and, you know, build amazing relationships. It's been a lot of fun to, to you know, learn and grow from these people and, and see what they are really passionate about. One of the people that is absolutely critical in my life is a friend and a mentor and now my employer, Gary Vaynerchuk. This is his talk at the Web 2.0 Expo that he gave last uh, two Septembers ago. It's a great talk, there's a lot in there, so if you haven't seen it, go look it up online. But there's a throwaway line in there that Gary threw in, which is, people are the people who are going to help you. It's a great line, but it's completely said under his breath, he doesn't really deliver it with anything, and I decided to change it so that I could do something with it. I changed that quote to read, people are the people who are going to help you, so go help them first. It's now your responsibility to go meet people. It's your responsibility as an introvert to say, how can I help you? And that's something that's a, a great challenge. Ben Pandya is a, a consultant here in town uh, for major corporations, and he says, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that is absolutely true. You can be the smartest person in the room, and if you're a complete jerk, I don't care if you have the answer. To help people, you have to care. You have to ask questions to find their needs, and you have to then find what they need. It's something that is this great cycle that, you know, it's, it's its own little project. It's its own little thing that you can be very passionate about. But as an introvert, getting that first step is like rolling a, a boulder up a hill. You just don't know where to start. Let me take away your excuse of saying that you don't know how to meet people. Your first line is, hi, my name is Cade. <laughs> Insert your own name, though. Like, don't, you know, steal mine. That's, that's mine. I own that. Right, so the rest of my talk is about some of the tactics and strategies that I actually have used in order to really get past all of this. So this is actually my breather slide so I can make sure I could catch up. So, you know, we're gonna have some time here, folks. You know, it's just, this is something that I, I love so much and I wish that people who are introverted, which is over half the population statistically, could find the opportunity to do this. The first is by Neil Strauss. Do a lot of interesting and unordinary things. Right? This creates an opportunity for you to have something to talk about when people ask you what's up, ask you what your story is, ask you what's new. It's something that's really special. I started a podcast last summer called Meet My Followers, where for every day, for 60 straight days, or 50 of the 60, uh, I took the weekends off, I like some time. Um, <laughs> you know, I interviewed a natural Twitter follower. Now it's a weekly podcast. In the first 60 days, I had people in 40 countries download episodes. Talking at Ignite Phoenix, this is something that is awesome. I spoke at Ignite Phoenix 5, started listing that on my cover letter when I was unemployed, got 20% bump in people asking me in for an interview because they saw how creative and passionate I was. Daisy chain networking, this is something my business mentor Rocco Chappie taught me. It couldn't be easier in this environment with Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. It's knowing who your network knows. Taking the time to do the research and understand who's in their network. Finally, you have to follow up. You must follow up. If you say you're gonna call somebody with an answer, you do so. If you, if you went to lunch with somebody, say thank you in an email or a tweet or Facebook status, I don't care. Follow up, it's really critical because people, it's just something that people really get touchy on. Manufacture scarcity. This is the only one that I could say that I made in this group. Miss, uh, give people the opportunity to miss you. Don't be at every event, ever. It's easier. And lastly, as an introvert, some of the hardest things that you can do is ask people for help. Give them the opportunity to give back after you've given. It's just, it's, it's the, the completion of that circle. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really appreciate it.